Welcome back, history buffs, to Historic Myth Busters. Today, we're embarking on a journey to uncover the truth about humanity's origins. The idea that humanity began in Africa has been around for centuries, but is it really true? Let's examine the evidence. Our journey begins with the ancient Greeks. Believe it or not, even historians like Diodorus of Sicily, writing over 2,000 years ago, believed that humanity originated in Africa. He specifically stated that Ethiopians, whom he described as burnt-faced people, were the first humans. He considered them natives of the land, originating from the hottest places on Earth, a belief rooted in the idea that life emerges where the sun's warmth is strongest. What's remarkable is that Diodorus's ancient belief is actually supported by modern biological and archaeological research. Biologists like Robert Ardrey, in his 1961 book African Genesis, explicitly state that mankind was born in the African highlands, not Asia. Even Charles Darwin, in his 1871 book The Descent of Man, theorized that our ancestors likely lived in Africa based on their close relationship to African apes like gorillas and chimpanzees. And the evidence doesn't stop there. The oldest known Homo sapiens remains, dating back a staggering 195,000 years, were found in Omo, Ethiopia. This discovery solidifies Africa's claim as the cradle of humanity. While similar remains have been unearthed in other parts of the world, they are all significantly younger. For example, Homo sapiens remains found in Asia date back 100,000 years, those in Europe around 40,000 years, and even those in South America are a relatively recent 11,500 years old. Reconstructions of these early humans, regardless of where they were found, reveal distinct African features. Remember Cheddar Man, the first known Briton from 10,000 years ago? DNA analysis revealed that he had dark skin. This evidence strongly suggests that the first humans in these regions migrated from Africa, bringing their physical characteristics with them. But perhaps the most compelling piece of the puzzle comes from genetics. In 1987, a team led by geneticist Rebecca Kahn at UC Berkeley made a groundbreaking discovery. They analyzed mitochondrial DNA, which is passed down through the maternal line, and traced human lineage back to a single woman who lived in Africa approximately 200,000 years ago. That's right. Every person on Earth, regardless of their appearance or origin, shares a common African ancestor. This means that differences in features like skin color are incredibly recent developments in our evolutionary history. So, what can we conclude from all this evidence? It confirms that Africa is indeed the birthplace of humanity, a fact known for over 2,000 years and continuously supported by modern research. It reinforces the understanding that physical variations like skin color are recent evolutionary adaptations likely influenced by environmental factors. And most importantly, it reminds us that we are all connected, sharing a common African ancestor, making the concept of race a social construct, not a biological truth. That's it for this episode of Historic Mythbusters. We hope you enjoyed our journey into the fascinating world of human origins. Join us next time as we uncover more hidden truths from history.